and close the eyes. As we embrace the transition from the rest of our day onto our mats, enjoy a few cleansing breaths. Some deep breath in through the nose. Out of the mouth, exhale. Inhale, fill it. Exhale, empty out. One more cycle like this. Big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Feel the shift of the breath now traveling in and out through the nose. to notice how it feels to consciously breathe so that you become aware of every inhale and every exhale. So to set a deeper, more even breath for them. We are working a bit with the earth element this evening. Draw your attention and awareness to the soles of your feet. So the soles of the feet press into the earth. Imagining that you can plant firm roots. And sending exhales all the way into those roots. Allowing you the space and freedom to rise up tall. Feeling grounded in your physical body. As we exhale, turn the palms face down in front of the hips. As you inhale, gently turn the palms toward the sky, floating them up. Exhale, breathing all the way into our roots, grounding breath, grounding energy. Inhale, rising. Continuing this moving meditation with your breath rhythm. Allowing this movement to help you feel really present in the physical body. So earth element is connected to our physical body.
giving yourself this moment to feel really grounded, feeling the support of the earth beneath you. Take an inhale through the nose. Let it out of the mouth exhale. And open the feet up the width of your mat. Come on to your fingertips, slide them back and wide as you roll the shoulders down. Again, stretching through the toes, inhale, start to peel your heart off of the earth. Big or little, listen to your spine. Exhale and surrender. Good. Inhale and shoulder blades hug the spine and you rise. Wonderful. Exhale, release. Last time, slowly unraveling the spine, the shoulders opening into the heart. Exhale, surrender all the way to here. Feet come back to hip with palms on your shoulders as you hug your elbows in. Inhale, feel cobra. If you're ready, stand on the hands, lift the thighs, Urdhva Mukha, up dog. Exhale, up and back, Adha Mukha, Svanasana, downward facing dog. A few deep breaths here. We like to invite some movement into our first down dog in practice. The spirit of an earth grounded practice, we focus on the foundations of the hands and the feet. Feel the palms press down and forward. Feel the heels lengthen away from the toes down to the earth. And as you can, settle into stillness. Inhale, roll the spine forward, shoulders over wrist, plank pose. Navel and tail. Exhale, hips to the sky, stretch back, downward facing top. Inhale, with control, rolling spine forward. Exhaling, hips to the sky, press back. Inhale, coming forward to plank. First chaturanga, knees or straight legs, exhaling to the earth. Inhale, your choice, cobra or upward facing dog, stretching the toes. Exhale, in your own way, press back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And full breath out. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, look forward, set or float into malasana, feet to the outside of your hands. Drop down into your squat, take your time. Again, feeling elbows press as you open the heart and extend through the ground. Deep inhale here. Exhale, touch the earth forward, fold, feet under hips now. Lift and lengthen half leg. Bow and exhale. Inhale, stretch all the way to the sky. Reach through the fingertips. Hands settle at the heart. Inhale, arms rise. Maybe curling back. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Lift and lengthen. Open the heart. Full breath to arrive. Step your right foot back into a lunge. Left knee is stacked over the ankle. Stretch from the heel through the crown. And three times we pulse here. Inhale, rounding up into the spine. Gaze at the navel. Exhale, press your right heel away. Open the heart. Inhale, drawing up. Moving just the spine. Exhale, radiating. One more time. Inhale, my love. Exhale and open. Plant the palms, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, shifting forward to plank. Chaturanga, again, knees or straight legs. 
Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. A few deep breaths. And again, see if you can just settle into stillness. Inhale, lengthen your right leg to the sky. Your choice if you'd like to open up the hip today. You might bend the knee. Keeping the right shoulder down. The knee is bent. Inhale, extend the leg. Exhale, pull the knee forward from the core. Help her step your right foot through. Open the heart. Stretch from the left heel to the crown. Drink your breath in. Exhale, just step forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway rise. Bow and exhale. Inhale, lengthen all the way to the sky, stretch. Hands to heart space, exhale. Inhale, we rise again, maybe curling back, listen to your spine. Bow and Uttanasana. Lengthen halfway and open the heart. Step back with the left foot. Lunge right knee over ankle. Again, stretch from the heel to the crown. Three times we pulse. Inhale, round up into the spine. Exhale, press the left heel away. Shine the heart open. Inhale, rounding. Press into the space between the shoulder blades. Exhale, stretch and open. One more, inhale. And out of the mouth now, exhale. Play your palms, Adho Mudra, down dog. Step in back. Inhale, coming forward, plank. Slow and with control, chaturanga. Keep the heart open and the gaze forward. Inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale, exhale. Settle. Cleansing breaths when you feel tension rise. Inhale, left leg floats up. Again, your choice if you'd like to open the hip and bend the knee. Keeping the left shoulder down, lengthen through the right heel. The knee is bent, inhale, extend. Pull forward, shift forward. So lightly, left foot steps through. Stretch from the right heel to the crown, inhale. Exhale, step forward, Uttanasana. Lift and lengthen halfway. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, reach all the way through. Side stretch. Hands to heart center. Exhale. Close the eyes for just a moment. Step your feet and knees together. Feel the soles of the feet on the earth. Feel the earth beneath your feet. Breathing all the way into our roots. Release the hands gently, like the eyes open. Utkatasana, sitting low, arms to the sky. Inhale. Little pulse here, so on the exhale, we sit low and sweep the hands back by the hips. Inhale, arms rise. Good. Under your feet and toes. Exhale, sit low without leaning forward. Inhale, and arms rise. Exhale, low. Inhale. Stay low, exhale. Clasp your hands behind. Back fold, straighten the legs, press the palms, lengthen the arms all the way overhead. You can give yourself a little shimmy in the shoulders here to get deeper. Good and soft and ancient to chest. Release the hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Vinyasa here, you can step or float or straight back to down dog, your choice. Doing what's best always for your practice and your body on this day. Breathing 
downward facing dog. Big inhale. Releasing, exhale. And so from down dog. Inhale, right leg floats up. You might open the hip here, bend the knee. Exhale, help her step your right foot through. Dial your left heel down, toes in 45 degrees like warrior one. Lift your navel off the thigh, clasp your hands behind the back. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, fold. Humble warrior, you can rest on the thigh or drop shoulder to the inside of the knee. Hard right turn in our hips. Inner left thigh strongly lifted. Inhale, just hover over the thigh. Exhale, touch the earth. Straight back to Chaturanga or leave it out if you need to. You need a downward facing dog. Savoring every breath. Exhaling down. From down dog, inhale, left leg through the sky. Exhale and pulling through. Right heel down like Vera One. Hover, use the core over the thigh, clasp the hands, inhale, draw the shoulders down first. Then exhale and fold. Hard left turn in the hips. So keep the hips nice and square to the front of your mat. Lift the inner right thigh as you press through the heel. Inhale, just to rise and hover. Exhale, earth. Plank to chaturanga is all the same exhale if you're choosing to take a vinyasa. Finding down your feet. Drop the knees, set 
pedal into Balasana, Child's Pose. And always, if the arms need a little break, you can wrap them around the legs. A few deep, full breaths. Bringing you back into balance. Allowing you to reconnect with the rhythm of breath that you set for practice. Allowing you to feel grounded and stable. As you are ready, we will meet in downward facing dog. Hips to the sky. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees. Malasana, Ariyogi squat, drop. A couple of breaths here. You can settle into stillness, or again, you might close the eyes. Enjoy that gentle rock side to side. Big inhale here. Exhale, touch the earth. Keep the legs wide for just a moment. Again, catch opposite elbows or continue to open up the shoulders. Shake the head, yes and no. Check in with the jaw. Soft, clear gaze. Hands release. Heel to the feet underneath of your hips. Lift and lengthen halfway. Forward fold, exhale. Let's soften the knees and slowly roll up the spine. Stack the vertebrae. Press and feet into the earth as you rise up tall. Shoulders roll back and down. Ah, oh, good. Set the feet and knees together. Deep bend in the knees. Sit in your hips. Utkatasana. Garudasana. Right thigh over left. Eagle pose. Toes do not have to hook, they can be on the earth. Left arm over right. Stretch your elbows away from the body and send your fingertips toward the sky. Good. And just sit a little deeper in your shape. Know that you can always turn up the volume in practice by sending elbows toward the knees and forearms away from the body as you sit. Otherwise, shoulders stay over. A stretch in the upper back, one more breath. Inhale, rise, unwind. And take a breath, preparing for the second side. We started with Kapasana, inhale. Left leg over right, right arm over left. Stretching the elbows away, lifting through the fingertips. Uh, keeping the navel in to protect the low back. And if you want more fire always, you can drop the elbows here, open the forearms away. On gripping our right toes, spreading weight nice and even across the foot. One more wherever you are.
Maybe one heel draws in. Maybe both heels. Maybe you hook the feet. Good. Imagine pressing the earth away from you. Good. Squeeze the legs into the upper arms. Beautiful. Couple more. Steady breath. Uh, last inhale, exhale, release, forward fold, soften the knees as much as you need to, first and middle fingers with our big toes, lengthen halfway, inhale, bow in, exhale, release. If the legs are straight, feel the thigh bones press back wherever you are, feel the weight gently rock forward from the balls. Head and neck nice and soft here. Shoulder blades moving down the back and toward the hips. One more cycle, deep breath. Release the toes. Heel toe your feet all the way together once again. Lift and lengthen, inhale. Vinyasa or straight back to down dog. You can step or float. Left hand behind 
in the back. Maybe it settles into your right hip crease. Good. And then roll open through the shoulder a little more. Keep this if you can. Deep bend in the right knee. Pars of Konasana. You can bring the forearm up the thigh. You can use the hand on the block or the earth. Pressing firmly into the left heel. Stretching all along the left side as you roll the heart open. If you still have the bind, release. Stretch that left arm overhead. Inhale. Exhale. Let's all touch the earth and find our lunge. Back knee down. Untuck the toes. Ardha Hanumanasana. Hips over the left knee, right leg straight, foot is flex and fall. Knowing that you can walk the fingertips closer to the hips or you can use blocks for support under the hands. Again, feeling stillness here but maintaining the length and integrity of our spine. Two more full cycles. Breath. Let's inhale, bend the right knee, shift forward. So much so that the left knee is behind the line of your hip and step your hands to the inside of your foot. So you can give your right shoulder some space by walking the foot toward the right side of the mat, the toes are pointing. Good. Setting up for lizard, staying on the hands. You can use a block under the forearms or you can surrender your forearms all the way to the earth. And then even deeper, if the forearms are down, maybe the elbows walk in line with the toes. Yeah. Even deeper still, only if you want it, tuck the left toes, press the back of the knee to the Gaze is straight down between the hands and the forearms so the back of the neck stays long. Soften the shoulders away from the ears so that we can feel a little cobra action in our upper spine. A couple more here. New breath rising up on Yes. 
Settle in to stillness. If they aren't already there, fingertips under shoulders, lift and lengthen halfway. Soft knees, hands to the waist, inhale, let's rise. Uh, Vera to left side. Take your time, exhaling into your foundation. Working our front thigh parallel to the earth. And as you're ready, interlace fingers. Behind the back, press the palms, stretch the knuckles toward the ears, shoulders draw down. Good. Tail lengthening toward the earth, navel stays in. The gaze can be over our left shoulder. If it's too much for the neck, gaze is straight ahead. Feeling our deepest warrior two and then radiate again through the arms. Inhale, straighten the leg. Trikonasana on your exhale. Take your time. Left hand to shin block or earth. Right hand above the shoulder. Drop your right waist to your left so you lengthen both sides. Rolling open, thigh navel. If you have the space, right hand behind the back. Feel it settle into your left hip crease. And then use that to help roll open just a little more. Deep even breath. Full inhale. As you exhale, bend the left knee, parse Konasana. Your choice form can come up to the thigh. And again, use a block or the earth if you'd like. See if you can keep the bind or let it go. Left hip rolling under the body. Couple cycles here. If you have the bind, stretch your right arm overhead, inhale. Pressing from right heel through the fingertips. Exhale, touch the earth, lunge. Right knee down, draw back, Ardha Hanuman. And settle in. Imagine sending breath to spaces that feel extra sensation. Sending breath to the places of tension. Allowing them to soften and release. And let's inhale, bend the left knee, shift forward so that the right knee is behind the line of your hip. Step hands to the inside of your foot, and so you can give that left shoulder some space, but the left toes stay forward. Lizard, hands block or forearms to the ear. Shoulders soften, heart melts forward. Front knee should be directly over the ankle. Yeah, if you want more, back knee can lift, press through the heel, press the thigh bone to the sky if you're choosing that option. Wherever you are, focus on full and complete exhales. Letting go, moving past the tension. Two more deep cycles of breath. As you inhale, come up onto the hands. Stepping back down, bottom three legs or four. Again, resetting in your own way. 
Maybe you spend a few breaths in Balasana. Enjoy. Five or so breaths wherever you are. One in through the nose. Release one out of the mouth. Deep inhale. Exhale, empty out. From down dog, inhale. Lift the heels, bend the knees, step or flow. Malasana. Come back to your spine. Again, you can close the eyes. Feel the root of the body a little more open now. The soles of the feet feel the earth beneath the feet. Deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Keep it wide for just a moment. It's really easy for 
us to lose breath rhythm in balancing shapes. One more. And we'll gently release. Good. Feet a little bit wider than our hips. Back to our prep for Bhuja Pidasana. Palms and palms press, big inhale into the heart. Exhale, start to touch shoulders. Behind the legs, maybe palms come to the earth. Couple times following your breath, we pulse bending knees and elbows. We inhale, straight and full. Full times. And then when you feel ready, you might start to take flight, or you might just pause. Practicing creating that shell for the legs. You're taking flight, Bhuja Pirasana. The feet might hook this time. Option also to straighten the legs if you want. One more breath. Beautiful. This time, bending knees as much as you need to. Step the soles of the feet onto the palms of your hands. Our toes are in the creases of our wrists. Feel a lengthening inhale. And exhale, fold. And the neck soft. Rock weight toward the balls of the feet so we feel a release for our wrists here. Letting go of head and neck. Uh, one more deep breath. Release the feet, heel toe your feet all the way together. Lift and lengthen, inhale. Vinyasa or straight back to down dog. Knee and downward facing dog. Deep breath. And let it go out. One more. Exhale. Step your feet open the width of your mat and gently spin your heels out so the outer edges of your feet align with the inner edges of your mat. And then just walk your hands back a step or so so you feel nice and rooted through the heels. Good. Keep your right hand down. Press it down and forward into the earth. Stretch your left hand for the outside of your right leg, avoiding the knee. And use that hand into leg as leverage to twist you under the right arm. Drawing in at the navel, stretching back through the thighs. Inhale, unwinding through center. Left hand down and forward into the air. Right hand reaching back for the left leg and using it as leverage to feel the twist. Nice full breath. Coming back to center. Re-elongate your down dog. Inhale and float your right leg. Exhale, forward. Inhale, rise, warrior two. Good, exhale, settle. Good, inhale, stretch back, reverse. Exhale, side angle, forearm to thigh or deeper if you like. Just a breath or two here. One more in. Exhale, touch the earth, lunge. Back knee down, untuck the toes, arm down. If you feel warm enough to take this into a full split variation, you're certainly welcome to press the right heel away, tuck the left toes and lengthen out. You can use a block underneath of your right seat. You can also bring a block underneath of each hand. Wherever you are, full breaths, closing out. Long 
Very gently drawing the right heel back in. Shift forward, hands to the inside of our foot. Inhale, grow long through the right arm. Exhale, tuck your shoulder under the legs. Maybe the right hand plants on the outside of your foot. Pause here if you'd like. Krama one, stage one. Krama two, knee lifts. Or three, heel down like Vera one foot pattern. Good, and especially if that heel is down, draw the right hip back and in. If the heel is down, you should feel grounded through the outer edge of the foot. And start to drop the head and neck. There is the option for the bind behind the back. Couple deep breaths here. So wherever you are, lift your back knee, lift your heel if it was dropped. You can certainly unwind the arms and reset or practice pressing the back of the right arm into the leg, straighten. If kundinyasana is in your practice, chaturanga arms, drop your left hip to the back of the left arm, maybe the left leg floats up. Step or float it back to chaturanga. Knee and downward facing dog. A few deep breaths. Inhale through the nose. Out of the mouth. Exhale. Inhale, left leg rise. Exhale, pulling through. Vera two, warrior two. Inhale, rise. Good. Settle and exhale. Inhale. Reverse warrior. Stretch all the way back. Uttita Parasokanasana. Extended side angle. Your variation. Stretch from the right heel all the way through the fingertips. Big inhale here. Exhale. Touch the earth. Lunge. Knee down. Ardha Hanuman or full Take a moment, settle in. Long spine. Feel yourself come back to the rhythm of your Go. 
go. A lot of shape to bring you back into balance. your body is making with the earth. Thighs heavy. 
the outer hips opening, releasing. Simply unwind the legs and switch, or we can do it the fun way and walk the hands to the left, come onto the toes and spin around. And then the left knee will be stacked over the right. So feet either in close or feet out wide a little more. Nice inhale, and maybe staying here or
big stretch if you have the space. Reach the arms overhead. The eyes close. Roll onto your right side. Rest there. As gently as you can, pressing out to a comfortable seat. Feeling yourself reawaken, refreshed. Joining palms together and on jelly with the trap. We'll honor our practice together today with a single chant of Om. Deep inhale, filling up. 